Okay, I'm so I'm going to make a video here of uh, how to set your your settings for FSX to get um, some pretty good quality video without having to spend anywhere from three to nine hundred dollars on a i7 core processor or anywhere from two fifty to four hundred dollars on a graphics card that is not needed. My system is running a X2 Athlon, AMD Athlon dual core um, and a, a gigabyte motherboard with a NVIDIA 9800 GT um, 512 megabytes graphics card. I have two gigs of RAM in my system and as you can see my videos they look great um, without any lag. I'm also using Bandicam too which is a lot better than Fraps when you record your videos and it actually can lock 60 frames per second as opposed to you know fraps which you really only get about 30 at the most 15 at the least um, so here's the settings um, if you go into your um, customized settings like I said you want to keep everything either from you know medium to low there's a couple things you can keep on high uh, my screen size is 1024 by 760 which is you know a crappy monitor uh, my front frame rate is unlimited uh, you want to keep this checked and you want to keep turn this on to anastrophic uh, the global textures you can keep on high you don't really necessarily have to because Rex will really will do it all but um, I keep it on high anyways as you can see the videos are still run it runs pretty smoothly um, aircraft like I said you can just look at all the settings I have I, I don't know why this keeps checking I keep undoing the shadows on the ground Okay, for scenery, I uh, keep this on large. Uh, mesh complexity 70, mesh resolution 5, uh, uh, 60 centimeters, and two times for low for water effects. Because again, you're going to use Rex if you, if you're using Rex. If you're not, you can keep this on a little higher. Um, keep this on dense, sparse. I took off ground scenery shadows, and I keep special effects on details on high. Weather. I keep this all the way out because again, I mean, the likely chances of you being able to fly in anything thicker than that for the you know the draw distance is going to be nuts anyway. So um, keep this on high, keep this on low, and I put this on none. And then for traffic, you can kind of I turn this off. Um, you can keep it on if you want. I just don't like the when I'm flying, I see a name flying in the middle of the air, especially if you're recording a video. It kind of looks really stupid. So and it's not even necessary and as you can see my settings here and that is pretty much it and see you know the problem with people is they're buying all these expensive i7 core processes and all this other stuff and it's not even necessary because see they don't realize that when Microsoft made this game they're using an old 8-bit mesh mapping system uh, it's the lowest quality as you can see the the buildings are basically just little square square blocks um, it's the add-ons that you buy like from Aerosoft or uh, Fly Tampa uh, they're using a 16-bit to 24-bit and some are even using 32-bit and so then you might wanna you know get a little better uh, CPU but even uh, like I said I'm using um, some add-ons and I'm again I didn't buy a, any better uh, CPU so and it runs great so um, the only thing that really requires a really hard CPU or heavy CPU is um, ultimate uh, terrain um, you know that one that uses a lot of detail because I mean a lot of uh, CPU usage because it has a lot of detail to the land the, the roads and I mean even have freeway lights so I mean, if you're going to use that, then yeah, I suggest you get a little better um, CPU and maybe even a little better graphics card. So there you have it, and then you just you know you save it. You know I have it saved in my game, and that's it. And then it's done, and you load it up. Now you, if you're using Rex, of course you have to load uh, Rex up first, but um, that's pretty much it. And that's how I set my stuff up, and you know hopefully it works out for you. So enjoy, and you can have a look at some of my videos and. You can see I don't have a high-end system. I have a very low-end system. I even have a crappy video card, too. 
and it plays great. I actually had a, before I had this one, I had a ATI, which was a 256 megabyte video card, and it actually played the game just as well. So, again, you don't need an expensive, I mean, if you want realism, I suggest you go out and buy a plane and fly it. Um, but it's just a simulator, but if you want some, you know, detail, then, you know, just just set your settings low and then use some of the add-ons and you'll be good to go. So enjoy.